Well, good morning to you. Happy Monday, Manna. Excited to share the God's word with you. Welcome to the first week of May 2022. So excited for what the Lord is doing, how he continues to move in people's lives. Uh, today, I want to share with you from the book of Job. Job 22, verse 21. Job 22, verse 21 says this, Submit to God and you will have peace. Submit to God and you will have peace. You know, oftentimes people are always saying, uh, I want God to speak to me. I don't hear God. I don't, I don't, I don't know when God is speaking to me. I'm gonna tell you something. The peace of God speaks. The peace of God speaks. If you are walking around and you are unsettled, you don't have peace, you're not at rest, and something seems uh turned up in you is a good way to say it. You gotta check, is there an area in your life that you are not submitted to God? And submitted to God means surrendered. Uh, to his will, surrender to his way, obedient to what God is saying. You know, there's a great power in surrendering to God. There's a great power in to submitting to God. And you say, well, well, am I supposed to submit to everything he says? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. You want peace in your life. You are to walk surrendered and submitted to God. Do you know why? He knows better than you. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. Oftentimes we, we get puffed up in our way or our thinking and the Lord, the Lord's way are higher than us. They're greater than us. And so we, as his people, <clears throat> and if truly you are a, a child of God, you've given your life to Jesus to follow him. You need to submit to him. It doesn't mean you always have to agree. There are times that, that God will ask me to do things that I don't necessarily understand or agree with. They're against my nature against my will, something I wouldn't normally do. But because I love him, because I want to serve him, because I want to walk with him, I surrender, I submit to him. And what follows that is peace. There are a lot of decisions that God has asked me to make that I've submitted that should make me unsettled because they're hard decisions. Can I tell you something? The second I do what he says, regardless of what it should feel like, I instantly feel peace. Why? Because submitting to God will give you peace. It'll give you peace. There will be a rest in your life. Whatever is topsy-turvy just settles. It doesn't mean the situation changes. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that everything around you gets perfect. What it means is that surrender to the will of God, that submission to the voice of God, that submission to God's way, now grants for your life peace. See all these people walking around unsettled. You know why? Because they're doing it their way. They're doing it their way. There's this big saying that's going around right now and saying, be yourself. Be yourself. Can I tell you? Don't be yourself. That's a mistake. Be holy. Don't be yourself. Be holy. Don't do things your way. Do it God's way. You don't know. I don't know. He knows. And we're not called to be the, the best thing that we want to do, what we feel, do what I say. That's all wrong. We are imperfect beings, and we do not know the right thing. And our feelings and our emotions and our own sense of what is right and wrong will lead us in the wrong direction. The only one that knows the right direction, the only one who knows the right way to go is God. That's why we need to listen to him. And we need to obey him, even if it's what I don't feel is right. You know, when I, when I gave my life to Jesus, I gave up the right to be in charge. He's now in charge. I now live my life in submission to him. Or I say, God, I'm going to do it your way. I'm not going to do it my way. I'm going to be holy. I'm going to do it your way. I'm going to submit to you. And the result of that submission is peace. Do you know why people are bugging out all around us? Because they're in rebellion to God. That's why. They just don't know it. The reason <clears throat> the world is going crazy around us is because they're in rebellion to God. They don't have peace. There has never been a bigger mental crisis in the world than right now. Why? Because people are in open rebellion to God. So they are, they, they are without peace. The reason you're watching people become undone is because they are in rebellion to God and they don't have peace. Insomnia 
insomnia has gone off the charts. Anxiety is off the charts. Why? Because people are in open rebellion to God. And when you don't surrender to God, you don't have the peace of God. But when I surrender to God and I submit to God, then his peace is with me. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. I am at peace because I know that I am in sync with God and everything else flows out of that. So today I want to challenge you. Submit to God. Whether you want to, well, whether you agree or not, submit to God. Submit to his way. Submit, obey him. Surrender to him. And the fruit of that is that your life will have peace. And so, Father, we bless you this morning, God. We thank you. We thank you, God, that your ways are higher than our ways, God, and that you are smarter than we are, God, and that you haven't called us to be ourself. You haven't called us to be led by our emotions. You haven't called us, Lord, to be the master of our own ship, the captain of our own destiny. Those are all lies. You've called us. You've called us to be followers of Christ that walk in submission and obedience to the will of God. And the fruit of that is that our life would be filled with peace. So Father, I pray, God, that you'd remove from us the spirit of rebellion and you'd give us the spirit of obedience and submission, that we would walk in accordance to your word, that we wouldn't change it to make it fill our, our will, Lord God, but we would walk in accordance to what you say in complete and total submission and watch the fruit of peace be birthed in our life and carry us through. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to remind you that tonight we're not going to have a prayer meeting. There is no prayer meeting tonight. I have to cancel it for tonight. Nothing is wrong. I just, I have two multiple events tonight and I have no one to cover the prayer meeting. So for tonight, we're not going to have one, but we will have one on Thursday. I will see you Thursday, 9, 15 p.m. Can't wait to pray with you guys. Have a great week.